Hey, I'm back and recently I went to the grocery store and I saw a new type of Kit Kat. So today we're going to talk about banana Kit Kats? So as I said, I was just walking around the supermarket and I found this. So as you can see here, this is banana flavored Kit Kat. I never thought I'd see this, but uh, I guess I have. So this one is for Easter break, I guess, which I think is actually a little bit strange because in Japan, most people don't even celebrate Easter. So I don't know why they decided to do this theme, but I thought it's okay. But you see they have like the bunny rabbit and the eggs on there, but you never know. When I first came to Japan, lots of people didn't celebrate Halloween and people didn't know about it. People didn't do anything for it, but now it's, you know, little by little become more and more popular but Easter I, I don't know I'm not sure if that's gonna you know take on the same popularity that Christmas and Halloween have but you never know but I thought this was at least interesting and I don't know if banana is going to taste good or not to be honest I personally don't like banana but I'm willing to give things a try you know Kit Kat's been pretty good in general even flavors that I thought eh, I'm not gonna like I ended up thinking well oh, these are alright so I hope this is the same, but let's open it up and see. Took one out of here, and as you can see, it has the yellow and green packaging. I really like this. I really like how they seem like they've been taking the time to actually make good packaging for these. So let's hope it actually tastes as good as the packaging looks. Pure yellow inside. smell it. It doesn't really smell like banana to me. It almost smells like a stronger vanilla with something else in it. I don't know, but it doesn't really smell like banana, but let's taste it and find out. Eh, it's not so bad. It doesn't actually taste like real banana, it tastes like that kind of artificial candy banana. You know, if you're, remember when you were a kid you had those little runts candies, those hard candies? It tastes like that banana, so it has that mixed with white chocolate. And on the inside, it looks like it has like chocolate wafers or something in the inside, it's kind of strange. Because usually on the inside, I don't know if you can see that here, how it's brown. Usually it's just like a, a white wafer, but maybe they decided to like, since they have chocolate eggs, put a little bit of chocolate inside here. It's melting on my hand also, but it's, it's like I said, it's not bad. So this one really isn't in my top 10 list of best Kit Kats ever, but they avoided a disaster. This is definitely worth checking out. It doesn't taste terrible because I first saw this and I was like, banana Kit Kat. And I was a little bit worried about buying it because I thought like, oh, oh no, <laughs> what's this going to taste like? But it's actually not bad. So I definitely recommend checking it out if you see it or buying it just as like a gift or, you know, kind of like a novelty. It's interesting for that. And especially if you're celebrating Easter, although it's still a bit early. They actually released this at like the end of February, but in Japan they oftentimes do that where they're releasing things way too early, but it's okay. I'm really hoping they come out with a Sakura flavored uh, Kit Kat, but I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna be on the lookout. They really need like a mailing list or something to tell me when they're coming out with new flavors, but that's besides the point. I'm also going to be doing the March Kit Kat, Birthstone Kit Kat later this month, so be on the lookout for that and hopefully I'll be able to go out and do some more videos with the 3D sound walk soon because it's starting to warm up. But until next time, subscribe if you haven't done that, give me a thumbs up and see you.